to our invocation. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for bringing us all here today. Lord, we thank you for the work that you've already done with the Parks Foundation. We ask that, Lord, as the new board comes on and the new people join the Parks Foundation, that they all have a heart to serve, Lord, and that they bring um, they bring that heart here and, and a great work ethic. We thank you for these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. I do have a quorum. Show that our secretary and treasurer are here. Our vice president's here. I'm here. George is here. Mr. Halliburton advised me that he would not be here, and Mr. Rogelis is in the room. So let's do our pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one indivisible. Okay, so I have a etiquette question. What do you do? You put your hand when you pledge the Texas flag, where are you supposed to do it? In school, we just play, yeah. Okay. <laughs> here or here? I'm, like, I'm not from like Texas, the or here. I, I still have a problem with that, because that's the only one I really play the way you do that. Okay, well, you're the only, uh, Citizen here, sir, do you, do you have any comments? I like it. Okay. Michelle, right. do you have oh, anything coming in? She certainly does. So while she's getting the, the, the meeting minutes over to Joe now, we need to approve those meeting minutes from the 19th of November and as well as the 24th when we have the special meeting. I thought it was the 21st. When you put the 21st. Hmm. Could have been that Monday. Oh, I was... I thought it was the... Oh, no. I got it. Because I thought it was the 21st. Yeah, 24th. Yeah, right. So, so, so these mm -hmm. all have to... These were right back then, but you know they changed the date for that balloon festival. I don't, I don't know what to do, they did change the date. Okay. Okay, so I don't know. But it was right as of then. As of then. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, the balloon. Okay, yeah. so it's changing. Hi, Thomas. Hello. I'm sure that Mr. Thomas is. Greg, did you write that article on yes, the FEDC? Yes, sir. In it, you mentioned it, and maybe uh, you could add, since it's, it's in their meetings, to set aside 15000 for parks. They mentioned four parks. Skate park. The they, 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 they had a $15,000 amount that they put in their budget for parks. If we have a plan that they do, but also they're transforming um, the park that same frog. Next to right. There, Skate a park. Crestwood is it? North Crest. North Crest. North Crest. North Crest Park. <laughs> so North Crest, that that park that's there. They're transferring that one. There's land that's there. Okay. That they I knew the land was there, but I didn't know they owned it. The, yeah, the EDC owns it. Also, the skate park. They're transferring that park. Well, the, well, the only the only reason I ask is is, is the, the mayor of Poth was approached by and, uh, Congressman. The mayor of Warehouse. Oh, okay. He was approached by uh, Congressman Quayar years ago. Uh, Quayar wanted to give him enough money to to hire another policeman, and the mayor turned the congressman down because he said, if if you can't guarantee me that money, 
next year after funding this year we're going to have to lose somebody well my question is are they going to pony up and support your budget to maintain those four pieces i know you're already cutting we're maintaining the parks already okay but we can't put any more equipment and our auditor is telling us that it should be if there's city parks and EDC no longer you know voting then it should be on our book and not the worst mm -hmm. so it's a housekeeping issue as well That's okay. First time I've done it in Vernon. I was too busy changing out my water bottle. You should never talk to me. But that's not the only thing that's going on. Okay, has everybody had a chance to read them? Yeah. Oh, do you have them? Need it? No, I'm going to just pull it up on my phone. What's that? She was getting copies of the agenda. Oh, the agenda? We're talking about the minutes. Are we okay with the... Oh, I see what you're talking about up at the top. The 24th? Yeah. Is it the 21st or the 24th? Okay. Yeah, to the 24th. Yeah. I'll check so it out. So I need a motion to approve the November 19th, 2014 regular meeting minutes. I just made that motion. Oh, you did? No, that's the second one. Oh, wait, that's oh. the second one. Oh, I think that motion we set both of them with a change to the date to the executive arm. Oh, okay, do I have a second to the double? I'm a second. Okay, so Cindy made the motion to accept both with the exception of a change to the special meeting as being the 24th. So now, seconded it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that was unanimous. Six and zero. Oh. Moving right along. She's got my chin. Okay, President's comments. How do I want to do this? One of the things that has come to my attention over the last two years is that we have, as a foundation, been stymied by incompetence of the previous board which created a lack of capability to do our job as a foundation. So over those two, actually a year and a half, because we got reinstated back in August, those opportunities that we could have tied in and funded made me think about an 06 who's a full bird colonel that I used to work for. So I sat down on my little computer and my Excel spreadsheet, and here is 2015 with the 10 federal holidays, and if you'll notice in February, I put in the San Antonio Rodeo. What I'm going to ask each of you is between now and then, if I can figure out a way I could put that, maybe we ought to have one of these uh, meetings to where we create, or have somebody create a web page for us. But if, if you look through that, important dates to me would be like, when are you going to get involved with the Little League? When is it that the Wildcats start playing? When is it that the soccer players? And put those dates in there, and that will help us deconflict as we move forward. Here you go. You got one? Can I get one? Mm -hmm. So that must be Richard. I've never seen a condo like this. It must be Air Force. No, it's just, <laughs> a, it's just an Excel spreadsheet. I just saw he was the one guy that in the Jungle Survival School at Clark Air Force Base didn't listen to the instructors and he took his food with him in his, his hammock and one of those uh, jungle rats bit him on the face so his tactical call sign was rat. Well he was, he, he, he wasn't exactly a micromanager but you better stay ahead of the game with him. Well things that have happened, just like I talked to Luana I was trying to steal from them. You know, they have four Opry's a year. Uh -huh. yes. Every quarter. Yes, every quarter. Four of them. Yep. 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 And I don't understand, don't and she wouldn't elaborate on exactly how they do it, what they do, how they do, you know, and short of getting Stephen Trevino and some of the original board members to talk to us about how they were uh, goat roped by an individual. 
I think a lot of what they do though is donated. Even the entertainment to a large we just area donated. is donated. We just mm -hmm. donated fifty dollars. So we did too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean, that's how they do it. Is it, well, it took them a while. They, to get well, they have a cause society. that people believe in, and they're consistent on getting those donations. So well, in the day's paper, I think it's Stockdale. This guy Gary Allen coming to do something. I mean, you know, he's no fluke. Yeah. But they built it up over the years. It was good, and they show on mm -hmm. for their. But that. That's probably, I may be dumping in that. Uh, you are, but it's all right. But, right. but anyhow, oh, your shovel is big enough. When, when you, I'll use the, the flat hand, you know, get my hand. <laughs> hand. Yeah. But if, if y'all would, just do, let's all get together as to when and what. For instance, I know last uh, rodeo, we had some people that uh, couldn't come to a meeting uh, because they, they were showing stock. And uh, I know that you do work the, the Little League stuff. But if we could figure out how I many burger barns. You know, we got four new grills and an old grill out there in Pecan Park. And after, uh, I guess, uh, uh, Monica posted it on the, the uh, Wilson County News, a blogger blogged on our agenda that his family, because of where they're at, they used Pecan Park and they went to City Park. And they talked about City Park needs to be cleaned up, repaired, and yada, 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 yada. So I asked, BSP was the, uh, the blogger's initials. So I just jumped back on, on the, the blog myself and encouraged them to come tonight, bring that kind of thought uh, uh, to it. But we can't do anything without money. And come next month, the girls over from the library are going to come and ask for $1,200. Uh, do you know something that we can do that doesn't cost us anything? is having um, events at the park, like um, leasing spaces to for a really low fee, because it's not going to cost us anything. So we lease spaces for $15, $20 a space to people to come in and have like a farmer's market monthly or have a... Um, I, I think I think that uh, you're jumping into my plan. Oh, just if... Because I have a year plan right now that I think that uh, I want to propose it. And, and and all I need is somebody to bless it. And I'll go out there and get, I mean, because you know, we don't need no money. We need these letters that you gave me right here. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll do that okay. when it gets down because, to you. Because, if I, I'll give you an example. March the 6th, we're going to have a camp out at a uh, white site uh, fuel stop on South End Road in 14. At that time, uh, we're going to camp out and we're going to have music and stuff like that. Anybody wants to ride a horse to Floresville, it's going to be $25 a ride, $10 a hayride, right? and, and all the foods will be sponsored by different places. Okay, and I think that we can do it. I think we can, I think we can, I mean, even if we get 50 horseback riders, how much money is that at $25 a horse? Well, I even say we need, a, we need an event, an annual event, something yeah. to do annually, like, like what, um, know the chamber does and what and those kind of something we do annually that draws people in and maybe something that's you know exclusive to the parks I know in a lot of other communities they do we do they do things yeah. that are already other people are doing like home and garden shows or like yeah. the wild game right. dinners and things like that but we need to figure something out that we can do in Floresville that's an annual event tie it in with things that don't cost very much like five cameras there's no expense to that the entry yeah, fees pay for everything you're doing right here Okay. Yeah. Do we have well, where we are with Heartland? Like, how far? She'll cover it. Okay. Well, see, I just, I'm there for that. Yeah, we don't know. To me, this, I mean, <laughs> it, it breaks it down in quarters for you. Mm -hmm. And if you would just, you know, after you get done with your morning constitutional, and, and you see something in there, just send it to me. You know, and, and, and maybe uh, on y'all's emails, you could probably steal a caveat on my. Uh, list of everybody because that includes uh, Henrietta and you know you too Henrietta we plug in stuff that, that that's going down. So what are we I, working on? Activities that we're involved in or when we're available or whatever? Any, any and all of the above but the biggest thing is is when we see something for instance uh, she mentioned that they, they're changing the balloon fest and when I talked with is it Richard? Uh, when I talked to Richard, he says, oh, yeah, come on. Well, it, it, 
if we could you know, grill hot dogs or, or you know, flip burgers or do something during that event, now I don't know what competition would lose. You need to get or, with Lori at the event center too because I know in um, July they're having a gun show. They don't have anybody to provide the food for that. She asked Project Graduation to do it, but we're over by then. You know, I know we're doing it this weekend for the stock show, but. Well, I can get, I'll get um, Gloria to do it. She just starts calling around everybody. She's mm -hmm. not all picky. So, I mean, I know there's, and that's very little cost and, and, and big profit. You just have to make sure you have enough because the complaint in years past have been that people that have done the food right now. But see, but the, the thing is, we're a 501. We can ask for donations. We need some successes yeah, to and, be and successful in the And that's where factor, I came up with this plan because you know what? If we start piggybacking with everybody else, our foundation is not going to, I mean, it, it not, will be limited. But that's just some things yeah. we can do. And, and and I came up with five events, actually six, all the way to February okay. next year, 20. Okay, we'll get there. Okay. So again, to me, this, this would, would okay. in concrete, a brainstorm for everybody and it, and it gets the participation rather than once a month mm -hmm. as soon as you know when your kickoff is for the little league you know one of the things that the blogger uh, all of you that don't go up and look at Wilson County News just go up there and, and it's in there it's got two comments for the, the Parks Foundation uh, but you know, just key on in there any place that you see it doesn't take you know like when we went out there to do the grills you know, it, it, it wouldn't take a whole lot out there to go out there one morning when it's not going to be raining and cold like it has been. And, and you know, go back over to your friend with the water and ask for donations of the people out there running around. Yeah. So, you know, we just, we got to have money. Okay. You know, short, short of going to the grants because the money when, can come when, in when I get into my... We also, we also have to realize, too, though, um, that yeah. we have... Okay, when I get into the new business on item four, we'll, we'll spell out some of the league. But anyhow, please use it. Mm -hmm. and if, if you've got a date and you see stuff that's going on, things that we can dovetail in, you know, God forbid we end up out there selling cotton candy during the peanut festival. But I'll put a barrel out there and put a pea in there. Whatever. And I think that's all that I had for that. So now, the, the treasurer's report, so I can file our 990s with the IRS. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Okay. Our uh, balance is the same as the previous month, $4,415. Okay. Okay. Same okay. as last time. It's on our minutes. Zero, zero. And the expenditures? None. For the, the grills was? Oh, that was, that was five. before. Yeah, but it yeah, was but it's in, still it's in the, that same uh, five. Oh gosh. Five thirty nine. Yeah, it's five thirty nine. Five thirty nine ninety six. Five one. Five thirty nine ninety six cents. Okay. Thank you. Sector report. I'll run the report there. It's it's all printed out there. That's all I have. Okie dokie. Good job. Project managers report. All project kind of for. Okay. We're looking at that down there. Grants report. Um, as of right now, I think that Ms. Henrietta said we don't know anything. <laughs> There you go. Okay. I do know something. Uh, S-O-M-A-T-H-I-N-G. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the, the city liaison. Uh, I just sent an email when I get back from, get back from Christmas break. Uh, I haven't heard back from them, and I will follow up them in reference to do that. I met with m &S the other day. Our, our city engineers, we have several of them, but that's one. And they mentioned that back in the day, they had some plan uh, that they had done. Uh, for the council at some point in time. So I've asked them to bring me copies of those plans really? just so that I can see because I don't have any of them. And there are uh, different areas of different things that they have done. It wasn't that a report that we have what, seven or eight pages in that initial report that they gave to the city? Yes, there were several pages in reference to MNS did a comprehensive plan, a five year plan that they did. But this is, they looked at those, but they actually did a layout okay. of, of those parts. And I know. Um, I found everything that I get. I've given that to you all previously, but mm -hmm. in the conversation, they were saying some of the projects and we talked about. And they said, "Well, yes, all the plans." I'm like, "Well, I've already paid for them, so I'm prepared to just give me a copy." Mm -hmm. So he's going to be bringing them to my office um, to me Thursday, tomorrow night, because I present to the city council. 
So I have the microchip. Do you have a person in the room? Yeah. You don't have to. He will. Is it the city council meeting tomorrow? Right? Yeah. I'll be here. I'm getting that. So then I'll give you a copy. I'll be here. Okay. So Y'all should have been here at the last meeting. So you so you can have the copy. Especially you. So we'll have the plan. And it'll be oh, a yeah. nice thing. Uh, they'll be all nicely uh, drawn uh, up and engineering so we can see what they night, what they propose. So that was something like yeah. so we can so we can compare and say, oh it's the right try for this day, I think about something different. Um just uh one more thing that I have reported is actually at the city park, um the bathrooms were vandalized and somebody stole the copper pipes out of those. Oh that wasn't uh, Pagan Park? No. no. Pagan Park is peeing in the hole. Which which bathrooms at the city park? Uh they sit by the by the, the little house. Yeah. The ones that are the wrapped fields. around. Yeah. By the soccer fields, they're yeah. easier, easier yeah. to get to. Yeah, because there's a, they just go in there and they're all on there lined up. So they ripped it out. They ripped it out pretty bad. And so they did mm -hmm. not do like a nice neat job. for the better bathroom. Yeah. So they ripped it out pretty but, bad. So they're, they're not replacing it with um, copper. They're trying to use another. But you know what? It, but it those pipes are all patched up. They had pipes here, pipe there. I mean, they were all. Well, yeah. the plumber, I had I hired a plumber. I did not, I'm not did having it. Did he go to the other? Well, he's starting at those first, yeah. but he's got I to finish this. those. Can he just check so everything? Because happens? he's got to fix that one first. So the water's off, and I hired a plumber to actually do it and do it right. So they took it out, and he, when he tried to fix one thing, I'm like, okay, let's just fix the inner guts. And I don't know what the proper term is, but the guts of the bathrooms. Let's fix those back, and then the plumber will leave from there and go to the so other As long as we can get that one, all they'll make so many people happy. They're fixable, but you know, they all have excuses. Well, now, Alex had well, a plumber out there. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. I mean, well, remember, remember, I, remember, I saw that. I went there and I saw that. They, they just yeah. need to get a master plumber with yeah. an idea and then exactly. from, the, from the bottom, make one, hey, one yep, right? and then go from there. Yeah. 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 Right, so we're starting here and then we're yeah. going to do it because I know she's going to call me about the bathrooms over there. Yeah. Well, so I just starting. have ladies complain. It's yeah. horrible. And, and they're like, so now what can you do? I so they're you know, working on it. The city staff is just not, you know, water department. No, they're not. They're not. That's not the, that's not the yeah. expertise. Exactly. They can turn water on and off. Exactly. If a big pipe breaks in the ground, exactly. call my guys. Yeah. But to make something pretty, that's not the expertise. You know, isn't there yeah. such thing that like, um, certain hours the doors lock on their own and certain hours the doors are not like? No, actually it's kind of like old fashioned. Okay. Uh, the police department opened the gates yeah. at 6 okay. and the police department was going to go by like 10 o'clock to 10, 10 midnight. 10 and what's there's going nobody after there that takes care of the fields that go turn the lights off and everything. <laughs> You don't lock the doors because it's public. We can't lock those doors because yeah. it's a public. It it's a public but at certain hours. But the when, they, the when the gate, actually the, the gate's gate. going to be locked. The gate itself is going to be locked. The reason why I found out because one time the police department forgot to go yeah. open up at 6 o'clock in the morning and they're calling my phone. <laughs> uh, so, you, you know, so, so they we're trying to be able to do that. So that's one of the things that happened that we'll have to be able to watch. But as it's well, going Con, around, Con Park and uh, the Phelps yeah. could just walk indoors. Yeah. The only way you could do that would be have somebody to make an iron. Uh, great. But, but don't y'all have, Georgia doesn't have somebody on call that on the weekends and weekdays, like uh, overnight, like the power company had it in case emergency. Yeah, I mean, like, my guys are on call, but when they ripped out those, when they ripped out the, the copper pipes, it wasn't until the park, because with the police department, they just came to the gate and opened it up. So when the park department went to go clean it up okay. on Monday morning, it was okay Friday, but sometime over the weekend, People are still in the copper. Mm -hmm. you know. yeah. and, and the thing is, you know, that I've had that problem in my ranch, and they still do it. But you know what? I caught those guys. But you know what? The police told me that they had to do the investigation. I went to the to to Torresville. You don't have a front end loader on your tractor? Oh, no, I yeah. shred the son of a guns and put them in a hole. Okay. But <laughs> you're saying it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're trying to get, but I just went to like, the park foundation okay. you know, that we are trying to work on those, but we did have some. So people complain that that was not working. That's why I told you that. The problem with the cameras is that the internet is just not you know, something we can do. And so because it's all out there, everything will have to be web based and, and, and I'm having a hard enough time having internet here. Yeah. Downtown, you can get, you can get a system at Costco that has a recorder. The only thing is, is keeping it powered mm -hmm. yeah. and, and going out and reviewing it. But we're going to have to do something because I can't keep replacing mm -hmm. those companies. But I just wanted to bring that it to you. It just seems like it's yeah. fairly inexpensive to do that nowadays, even if it is something that's remote, or that's yeah. you know, powered yeah. there. Somebody mentioned me, I'm not, a, I'm not a hunter, but they said they have deer cameras. Yeah. 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 The only problem, problem is, is like motion. That's the only what they problem are is that if somebody goes at nighttime, they'll flash, 
and they'll just kill us. Yeah. They'll just kill me. But those yeah, systems, I mean, I up there. <laughs> they had flashes, they came to the Those camera. systems, like at Costco and Sam's, have multiple cameras, mm -hmm. and then it'll partition yeah. the recorder. Yeah. We had one in, in our uh, uh, recreational area in my uh, uh, property owners association. But uh, and the, I, the, the bad guys that kept tagging our restroom areas knew where the cameras were, so they'd have their hoodies up and they would have their back to the camera, mm -hmm. and then you'd watch them. As they would put the, 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 the but I still think that the police department should dismount a couple officers during the week in certain areas, like in the restrooms, dismount them with a radio. And somebody, you know, like after they put all the cop, leave the doors open and dismount the cop. And, 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 and when he sees somebody going there doing damage or something, <coughs> because they don't catch them by these cars. Yeah. Bad intent, always find a way. And you're not going to put cameras, it's not going to work either because one thing or another. Well, yeah, I, I will follow up with um, the last, um, what <coughs> I'll follow up them and get you something okay. on reference to where they are. And then the last thing is that uh, at the last meeting, Grant Works had a public hearing and it, it sounded like it was a whole lot of stuff for um, the infrastructure for sewer. It was. But the other part was a comprehensive plan <coughs> that the city is doing. And so as part of the comprehensive plan, is that you have to have a steering committee to be there so that you can do it. One of the main things they want to talk about is what people want to do for parks. And so it's kind of like a, a committee that comes up. And so as we're coming up, that's one of the <coughs> things to do a comprehensive plan. And we need a comprehensive plan so that we can apply for the forestry grant. That's part of the things that you do. So that'll be coming up, and I'll be inviting some of you all, or anybody, everybody, to come and participate. Uh, so it leads to town hall meetings kind of <coughs> that led by grant works to allow them to talk about parks and amenities and those kind of services that we have so in the market report. Do you have a feel for that? What mm -hmm. or what, no, what we're trying to do it. We're for it. The deadline's in March, but we won't know until in March. All righty then. <coughs> According to our bylaws, tonight is our annual meeting, and the bylaws say that the tenure of elected officers is about two years, even though our tenure for board of directors is for three. <laughs> so, it's time to take a motion for our position of treasurer. To me, it means that if if an elected officer still wants to serve as a board of the director, as a director on the board, but like in Joe now, she said that she doesn't have the time right now to continue doing what she's doing. But hopefully, she will stay until the, the third year comes up. So this meeting next year, <coughs> then if she wants to continue to run, then the board itself will say, okay, you got another three years. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I, I didn't know that she was in that situation because, you know, I mean, cause we probably, I'd probably, you know, be looking around seeing what, you know, yeah. somebody else and might fit the... Well, she just said she intends to stay on the board, right? Yeah. She just, she just doesn't want to be the treasurer. Right. So I need a motion for a candidate. And until... Does anybody want to be treasurer? <laughs> oh. Well, well there, 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 there's three of us that right now, mm -hmm. unless we were to, to die. resign <laughs> to pick it up. Well, well, you know what, I think, I think that what we can do, 
says, we, says we all, uh, there's five or six of us here looking at uh, Point Richard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that's a good candidate. <laughs> what do you think? I think he's not here, that's not fair. <laughs> What about, about, what about you? I, I absolutely don't. Well, right now, she's the vice president. I'm also, but I'm also I'm the president of Project Graduation again this year, and that's a full-time yeah, job. Yeah, I'm and we'll just be getting started <laughs> with fundraising. And all summer, I'm gone. I'm gonna be. Me too. I'm gone during summer. But, but, see, because. Can we oh just temporarily sign somebody then? We, we can go find somebody else. We're the board of directors. We have the control of, and the authority to do what we need to do. Because I think I can find somebody, 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 but you know, I didn't know. I mean, yeah, okay. How how would you, how would you like to be the vice president? All you'd have to do is that if I go home and my grandson is born in February, and I might not be here in February, you would run this meeting. I'm bored. I'll stay vice president. Honestly, I just don't want to be treasurer. Okay. If either of the two of you don't want to take over the, then I would take a motion to table. Yeah. Because I don't want to do what Cindy did to me last year with, or two years ago when I got railroaded, and then I turned around and railroaded her, and then y'all two did. But I did ask you. I just mentioned uh, when I asked you. Um, I think Janelle. I think we, we should table this and give me next month, and I'll I'll find somebody that. Well, we can talk to Richard too. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so then the same then need a motion to elect a secretary unless the secretary in place wants to continue being the secretary. Would you like to be the secretary? She wants to be the VP. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, be, I'll be the secretary. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? This so is I have to make a business out yeah. there. Yeah. We have a lot of other, well, you know, just, I mean, besides our, Family. we volunteer yeah. everywhere, it's our businesses. Family. I mean, I make a motion that we leave Michelle Talley as secretary. Oh my God. Either that. Okay, we, well, we have a motion on the table. Cindy made the motion. That's a key Our secretary, to secretary. Case, <laughs> and George seconded it. Who is going to do that? Is that a two All in favor? Aye. 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 You know, like somebody says, you know, I, I think I did, I did, I was well, let me just but tell you what's going on. We had a stroke last week. Like we no no you know, we, we don't know why, what was caused. He's, he's fine. He, he had a stroke in, in both the left and the right um, side. So we're trying to find out what's wrong. But, you know, with, with both my businesses and then Little League, we went online. So we just cre created a bunch of work for me that now I have to go and we're trying to streamline things there but they're not streamlined right now and I just you know so I don't want to I'm like if we get if we start like right now it's been easy but as soon as we start rocking and rolling right. I, I just yeah. you and know I hate to too. commit and then you know mm -hmm. I'm okay. just well we got a, we got a motion and we got four eyes for her to remain Oh. So that's all I was asking. I'll just not vote and, <laughs> you okay. know, wait so she doesn't get So we, we've got a four, oh, and two. <laughs> and you can't vote for yourself. Did I say I voted for Hey, what about Sharon Owens? Is she going to get on this board? Or? I sent her to, had her on the, the address. He told her about coming in. she came tonight. on since she's. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know if she didn't see the email when we canceled last month. But anyway. Okay, I need a motion for vice president. Unless somebody else wants to be it. If somebody else wants to, I'm okay with that too. You've got so Mr. Robles, 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 Mr.
okay, here's my resignation letter, and I'm leaving tonight. VIP, <laughs> VIP right there, taking over. <laughs> I will not pull a Lyndon Johnson. Should this board think that I did a good job so far, then I will be glad to sit here and, and, and work and make this. I, I, think, I think so, because you did a good job um, last week. That's city council. You did a good job. I nominated. We're good the last year. Good job all year. No, but but no, but, but when they start talking about, you know, he got up very patiently and explained how, you know, and for the second time, I proudly, proudly nominated yeah. Doug Jones. I, I think <laughs> to yeah, be our fearless leader. We got a motion for Juan. What's the other second? George Hamilton. <laughs> Oliver. Aye. Aye. Okay, five zero and two. Five zero and one. Now, yeah. we got that out of the way. Mr. Jones, you are doing a good job, even though these ladies and gentlemen yeah, don't yeah, say sure. they're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> He's so okay, who, who have I not given a conflict of interest? Oh, I got one. I need y'all to fill it out to do the bylaws required and get it back to me. While y'all are doing there's that. There's in our bylaws, there's a whole conflict of interest statement. Yeah, we already know that. I know, we have to fill one out every year, I think. Oh. Yep. Called for by the... I don't remember that. The Congress. I love it when I put stuff and I can't find it again. What's next? I have a question about the conflict of interest, Mr. Jones. Yes, ma'am. Privately, are we allowed to um, support a certain political figure or political party? If, if you look in our foundation documents, mm -hmm. the answer is not publicly. Mm -hmm. And I brought that up at the meeting. And I, I'd have to go back and look and see if it says the officers or everybody. But that's in the founding documents. Nor can you influ try to influence legislation. So... It is done. That's what our founding documents say. That's what I've been living by. You saw this interview by Reagan. Can we take one? Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> so once y'all get that back to me, once you get everybody. I mean, just even on the. Is that local politics only? Or, I mean, how, how far reaching is that? Do you take it super uh, I, I got a second book. I'd bring you a second book, but I'd have to go back and research it for you. All of you should have the same books that Lou gave uh, to us. And looked at it. Now, I'm not for sure. In, maybe in the packet that Henrietta gave me last week. Because I think what it ends up doing, it, it, it gets into violating the 501c3 stuff. But that's like if you invite them to speak and endorse them that way, I thought. It's not, it's not your private opinion. Okay, well, let's just move on. Okay. I'll, I'll get back to you on that, but it's, okay. it's definitely in. Okay, the bylaw revisions. If you'll remember back when, we had a motion to uh, delete all references to the Texas Open Meeting Act. Mr. Halliburton uh, objected and requested that we seek the Attorney General. And I forwarded everybody their answer. Their answer was, talk to your lawyer. Now, whether the night that I face to face with Mr. Rosenberg and ask him, there's no place except in our bylaws, nowhere in the handbook for Texas Open Meeting Act. Do we fall within the requirement? Y'all know, and we need it. Y'all know that I like the, the freewheeling, open brainstorming, and whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I personally got 100% in it. I don't believe that we would ever do anything, uh, even with that, that, that dollar bill mm -hmm. that they collect. Well, we can still have our meetings open yeah. without. Well, well, what I'm going to say is, I'm going to give you what I did today. And I couldn't figure out with my word how to show changes like we used to do. But in it, 
I'm going to give you the, what, I, what I've changed, and I'll have to go through and then show you which paragraphs. But these are the, what I made revisions to include getting rid of the, the um, Open Meeting Act. We can still post, in fact, uh, Monday I, I learned that on the Wilson County uh, News website, they have a community calendar. And if you happen to have gone there, you'll see that tonight's meeting is on there. Now whether we want to do an agenda or what have you, does everybody get one? Now what did I do with my working copy? Mm -hmm. Everybody got one? Mm -hmm. Okay, well the first thing that we, we changed is that in, anywhere in the okay paragraph 102 and, and while we're at that I might as well pass out the document that we need to talk to this is our get out of jail card you don't need it this is our get out of jail card with the politicians of Floresville. The last paragraph that's on the back page. Right. But if you look on the back page of what I just handed out the memo, Mr. Rosenberg pointed out the uh, bylaws that it needed to be the, the parks. If you read the new change 102, Basically, it reads, when possible, the director shall include the city manager as a liaison on the board of directors. As a foundation's liaison member, he or she shall have no voting privileges. Should a city manager elect not to serve as a foundation liaison, one member from the Parks and Recreation Department of the City of Floresville, Texas, should be selected as a, a director of the foundation. So that, that gets us out of this, get out of free, free get out of jail card. Mm -hmm. Uh, the next 203, notice of the time and place of the meetings of the Board of Directors shall be given by the President or Secretary. Notice that it does no longer say in accordance with. This notice shall be given to the Floresville City Secretary for posting on the Floresville webpage unless the city decides that we're, they're going to cut the umbilical cord, which I don't think our ladies are going to do that. And then the Wilson County News Community Announcement will also include the meeting announcement. And I'll, I'll go up. <coughs> I couldn't figure out, Greg, on, on how to show it. Uh, I, I know there, there's all the months out in front. There's a typo. It says Florida Webpage. You inverted your B. It should be. Oh, Wednesday. Okay. Oh, is that supposed to be four? So it, okay, make, make a pen and ink change. <laughs> and then 205 special meetings basically just took out the uh, in accordance with. And I think there was one other. On uh, page four, secretary took out the written record in accordance with the Texas Open Meeting. And there were no other changes. Um, damn, damn it. Check, check 701. Still say January 15th, 2014. January 21st. Great. Because I, I got a working copy. Uh, and then there was nothing changed on the conflict of interest. And the reason that on page 10 I left the dates is because when we adopted it last uh, June the 13th, 2013, I took all of the papers that were signed and listed it. And what I'll do is that once I get everybody's form back, I will scan it to a PDF and 
I'll put it on the hard drive and just to relieve you of once we decide to I'll give you all the records that I've got that's electronically so, that I promised. Alex is gone? Go. I'm sorry? Is Alex gone? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a memo for record that I typed myself. I had asked him at that meeting when uh, he was here and Henry got announced that he was moving to streets. He came up and said that he would be there. I asked him for a resignation and he never did it. So I just typed up a memo and put it in our records. Do we need to make a motion? Uh, if you would, somebody would make a motion on accepting with the changes, the pen and ink change on $2.03 to web instead of... But before we have a motion, I guess we ought to have any discussion. Is I, I, know, I know Richard was really bothered with us doing... I think this paragraph on this sign, I think we're fine. But I, I really think that we ought to be able to... You know, rather than worried about having a walking, because I was even thinking about getting to have y'all come over and, and when it starts getting warm, if I get the green out of my pool. You know, that, there's just too much restrictions. And if we all, you know, just like when, when you two were talking to Jason at HEV, it would be nice that, you know, we go in there and, and maybe the presentations that, that you asked for, I uh, made all those copies of the letters of introduction, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But anyhow, I will take a motion on the acceptance of our bylaws. I so motion. Need a second? I second. So Cindy made the motion to uh, adopt the bylaws dated uh, January 21st, 2015, with the exception of the pen and ink change on the web. Joe I'll second it. I'll approve. Aye. 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 Six and oh. So you noticed I punched holes? So you can take and stick it right in your book in front of if you want to. And if you want to remove the staple, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. And it, like I said, that does a couple of things. Do you all have a seal? No, in fact, uh, when I went down to Lou's office, when we were working the 501c3 uh, stuff, he promised me he'd give us one. We did that. Okay. Well, you can you can just put an S. We'll have the one that signs for you and me. Okay, let me get out the agenda item for those of you that missed it. The city council meeting that was held on the 8th of January. The old dragon reared his head again. At the very beginning of the meeting, as the mayor was establishing a quorum, one of the city council members rose to a point of order, questioning the newly elected, after the runoff election, city councilman, based upon the fact that the previous meeting the city council worked on the municipal judge and the other things according to their agenda. And he thought it was a conflict that the city council oversees the judge who swore in the new city council meeting. The city manager then, I'm sorry, the city uh, attorney rose and said even a, a notary public could have signed him in. And I guess some other contention was is that supposedly in the past that had happened and Mr. Rosenberg ruled exactly the other way. So the contentions started. In the process of the meeting going on, the newly elected 
started this old crap again. Excuse me there, for those of you. That's Just the way <laughs> to where they initially started talking about how and how long. I'll find it here in a minute. Get directions from the Council on Board Appointments. And they started talking about tenure. Well, between, I think, the city manager and the city secretary, they were all presented with a list of names for the audit committee, the police, CBA, negotiation committee, the 4A, the FEDC, Planning and Zone, and Parks Foundation, Visitor and Tourist Bureau. They started talking about tenure. And then some people stood up and started asking questions dealing with why are we trying now to remove people when, for instance, in the FEDC, three of the members have a term expiration of 2015 December. The newly elected council member immediately says, I want to move so-and-so for Mr. So-and-so. I'm not familiar with the one name that's on here. And that's Mr. Talley. The council approved that particular move. When it came to Mr. Talley's name, he was shot down. When they got into our foundation, Mr. Rosenberg presented through the city manager in this package not only our foundation information, but he wrote the the, I call it the get out of jail free, basically told the city council that there is no umbilical. The newly elected wanted to know uh, where we had money. I started to, mm -hmm. to be a, mm -hmm. a you know who mm -hmm. and say, well, that's leftover money from the mm -hmm. holiday extravaganza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then he got into the one dollar water collection fee. 